Hi, my name is Dr. Peter Kay and welcome to this next lecture in the Heat Transfer Power and Environment module. And this lecture is all about engineering um, economics. Okay, so what we're going to talk about in this um, lecture is um, basically the, the factors that um, make up the cost of a project or, you know, the life cycle costing of a product. And you should be able to do that by the end of this um, lecture, you should be able to discuss those factors. And also calculate which projects are financially advantageous. So we can talk about various ways, that you, metrics that you can use to determine whether the project is um, uh, more profitable than another. And you should be able to say be able to calculate that um, in different ways. So before I talk about the um, economics associated with a project, we're just going to talk about uh, life cycle costing. So life cycle costing is basically considering the whole cost of a project from start to um, finish and to decide whether it's um, worthwhile or not. And there are a range of factors that can impact on the life cycle cost. And um, they're shown in this schematic, um, you know, kind of opposite. So if you look, consider this as a cycle of project. So first of all, you have your acquisition costs. And we'll talk about each of these individually as we go around um, in a bit more detail. But you've got your acquisition costs, uh, then your operating costs, your scheduled um, maintenance costs. Obviously, you've got to keep it running and keep it going. Um, you may well have some unscheduled maintenance costs. Things will break occasionally and you've got to obviously budget for those. Um, and then at the end of it, you have to consider the um, decommissioning costs of your project. Um, you know, there may or may not be some, but you've you've got to at least give it some due attention. And then that completes the cycle. Then you start into the acquisition of the what you need for your next project and it goes on and on. Anyway, so we're going to talk about these individually. So first acquisition. So what does, um, you know, that what makes up? The acquisition costs well obviously the purchase price um you know whether you're buying a bit of equipment or uh, even a facility the installation costs any training costs associated with that um administration and engineering costs and also conversion costs you might be you know converting one um from one um piece of kit to another one one site to another etc etc the operating costs, um, well, they're fairly um, self-explanatory. So they're your direct labour and consumable costs that you need for operating um, the project or the plant, or whatever it is. Any wastage and utility bills that you have that you need to cover um, whilst you're whilst you're running. The scheduled and the unscheduled maintenance costs I've lumped together because they're the same costs whether it's um, scheduled or unscheduled, and basically they're mainly material and labour. Um, you might have some in terms of your um, schedule maintenance costs and um, preventative uh, maintenance costs um, to make sure that things don't go wrong and also that you need to um, uh, a cost in here the downtime losses so it's not just um, the cost with um, associated with say fixing the machine and getting it back right but it's the cost associated with any downtime losses you know how much money have you lost as a result of that machine being broken for an hour or a day or whatever it is then finally the um, decommissioning costs um, again these are you know the conversion costs converting it back to what it was or decommission it completely um, any salvage and you know depending on the size of the project you know it's a cleaning of the site and waste disposal disposal which could these could be very significant costs actually that's not um, you know people tend to focus on the acquisition costs and the operating costs but, um, you know, the decommissioning costs could obviously be very um, high depending on the project. You know, think about a nuclear power plant. Um, the decommissioning costs would be very, would be quite a high percentage of the, um, of your, of your project. Um, but probably more than your operating costs, for example. Um, is you've got to clean the site and the waste disposal, etc, um, etc. Et 